enjoy these tips and tricks with random items. Hi, it's Crazy Chrissy with some tips and tricks. Um, today we're going to talk about unusual things to keep in your crochet bag. <laughs> things you may find around the house and they really do help out. Um, one, for your tools and stuff, you can use little makeup bags. That's what I use because I don't wear makeup. I always get makeup bags given to me. So I use makeup bags and stuff to hold my hooks and all the tools because I don't have a special hook bag, uh, hook holder yet. I'd like to get one eventually or make one. But I use the, uh, the uh, large handled hooks. But I digress. We can also here's a different thing these are hair clips just your standard everyday clips right you just stick them in your hair make them pretty right i use them to hold my yarn together in balls isn't that a great idea it's great it keeps it from unraveling in the bag because I like to put my yarn in smaller balls instead of having one large ball. But I got these ones, 18 pieces from Dollar Tree um, for $1.25 here in Canada. So, makes sense. Um, also, these are from David's Tea. Like, this is Forever Nuts. And yeah, my name's Crazy Chrissy and we have a tea named Forever Nuts seems fitting <laughs> but I use these little containers my girlfriend actually gave them to me and said oh I figured these would be great for beads for you and they are they're great to hold my beads and I use them I had them for almost a week now and I love them they're great they fit in every box and container I use so it's great but here's an interesting thing. You can get really cool designer beads, or lack of, for lack of a better word, um, like these beads and the uh, large beads came from, my daughter did this actually. She came up with this idea. She goes, I'm looking at Dollarama, Dollar Tree for black beads. And I couldn't find black beads anywhere that I liked, that were heavy and stylish. My daughter goes, come with me, mom. And we're in Dollarama and she finds these black beaded bracelets. So we just sliced and diced up the bracelets to get the fancy beads. <laughs> How cool is that? So I'm using them for a project right now. Um, but that's a great idea. Isn't that a great idea? My daughter came up with that. I thought that was brilliant. Um, and these are great. Um, let's talk about um, stitch markers, right? This is a st typical stitch marker, see? And it's, uh, they can be a, not expensive at a yarn store or Walmart or anything like that. But if you have something around home, use it. You can use a bobby pin. Those are great. You know, you can use that. Um, everyone's heard of this one. It's contrasting color of thread. Or a safety pin. They're great. Um, also, here's another one. If you need to keep count of um, your stitches and stuff, little tags. Right? You know, you could write... Oh, there we go. Pen works now. Stitch... 53 right and just attach it on to your uh, project so if you need to keep count of stitches right it's on there and um, also let's talk about saving your spot on your project where is it a few of you probably heard of this, but some of the some of the people may have not. Um, 
paper clips. You can pull and tug. That sucker ain't going nowhere. And you can use the smaller ones, or if I can find it, I think it fell on the floor. But you can use the smaller ones for cotton crochet thread. Works great. I think it fell on the floor. I don't know where it went. Huh. But in my yarn, in my uh, little bags, I like to keep um, like my vest. I'm working on this is a vest and it's just a simple vest but I wrote how many rows I need right I, I, I don't write single crochets SC two together I don't I don't do that I, I don't know why don't judge <laughs> um, but I keep I like to try and keep a pen and a little notepad in the book and you can get a package of like four or more notepads at Dollarama or Dollar Tree and pens dime a dozen you probably have a million of them at home if you know where they are let's see what else we have that I can show you hmm. but I think I think that is like the best of the best. So this is a, not a little longer video. It's about seven minutes, but um, but just keep in mind when it comes to, to crocheting or knitting or crafting, the simplest answer is usually the easiest and best answer. So keep it simple, sweetheart. Kiss roll. All right. Have a good one. Bye.